Hello, Lila. How have you been? It's been a while since I chat with you. And uh, I'm, I'm sending you this video because it's extremely important that you listen to it in its entirety. You know, Lila, you, you often hear me say that this publication is by divine inspiration, and which it truly is. And I know you're a God-centered young lady, and uh, but you know the, the saying, my steps are ordered. And therefore, I believe by divine inspiration, that's why you and I have met. See, since I met you, um, your heart is in the right place. You do want to help people. You do care about people. You out there in the vineyard working, you know, you protest and you do everything you can to assist people. And that's a good thing. And that's why I invited you into the public case, because I feel your spirit. But Lila, um, uh, you, you really don't know, uh, I don't think you really know, uh, uh, what has taken place with us in the paper. And uh, even when you weren't even dead, pe people spoke very highly of you. And uh, But you showed up every once in a while. But I'm going to tell you something, and I need to tell you this, is that over the last year or two, the people that's involved with the National Black Unity News have formed what one may call a bond. The bond is so deep, so strong, it's unbreakable from my perspective. I uh, personally have been around for a long time, and uh, but I never had a, a, a group of people that generally care about you, no matter what your situation may be. They, Of course, they would help you out in your business aspects, but they also would help you when you're down or when you're hurting about this or that. And, and, and it's a love that I really, it's, it's really extremely hard to explain. But this is where my conversation with you come in at. And, and, um, and I know you, you know, as a businessman, you know, I, I you know, you may see me as, uh, well, what, what, you know, I, I, uh, 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 he don't operate the way other people do. And you know that for a fact, you know, just between you and I. But the point is, when God send me or where I'm sent to, and, and the way I feel, and, and that's where the way I operate. Now, I have people amongst me who want to be strictly business, but I have to stay true to the true calling, and that's a servant. And, uh, and you have such a powerful plan that God has blessed you with. You know it, and I know that it can benefit a lot of people if they only utilize it. But even in marketing, um, Lila, is this. You know, those adages like this in, in man's world is that it almost takes six or seven exposures before people even buy from you sometimes. And that's in the regular marketing world. But in the divine world, it's a little different. See, sometimes... God open doors for you. Now he give you the power to reason, but sometimes you need to just enter in into a safe place, a place where people are not out to get you, use you or abuse you, that people really care about who you are and what you're doing. And I'm one of those people who care about what you're doing because I believe that you can help a lot of people and that you can bring a lot to the team. But I also believe this, and I would encourage you to do this, is to continue to come on the Monday night calls and Tuesday night calls and get to know this circle of people who are there to assist you. Yes, you. They're there to assist you. And they will have your back if, if needed, if you need somebody to carry you or to help you in other areas of life. That's what has happened with the National Black Unity News family. We have formed this type of bomb, and I really would love for you to be a part of this bomb because I know you are worthy of it. And I know you that you know you shouldn't have to carry everything on your back and on your shoulders all the time. That's the whole thing about the unity news, and it means everything it says. But you have to show up. In order for you to be get the blessings from the blessers, you have to show up. And so this is my message to you, Lila, is this. Don't worry in doing well for people. 
Don't give in. Don't give up. The battle just begun. The vineyard is greater than ever now. People need you more than ever now. People are dying and no, no. Well, you know that I'm preaching to the choir now. But how will people know? Unless, you know, and I offered to you several times, and I know you don't, you know, you don't like taking advantage of people and all this. Not taking when I offer you something, that means I want to give it to you. I have, like you say, you know, I have all of these tools that I can help with commercials. I could uh, assist you with marketing, branding your business, even the words to you sometimes, uh, you know, if you allow me to. Now, I can do these things. I'm going to do this for everybody that's involved with the paper and periodically because I'm, I'm more settled now. But at the same time, my mission is to, that's why I call myself a servant of servants, is to assist people like you. My job is to help you to get you, you to where you want to go. And when you help one person, just one person, and if it came through the paper or referral or something like that, then I'm truly been a part of that blessing. And that's my reward, to, to know that I help somebody through you. And, uh, and so everybody wins. You win, I win, and most important, the person that you help wins. But Lila, you have such a unique service and you're such a unique person. I, I, I Don't give in. Please don't do that. Not now. Not when you need it more than ever. And this is not a David Murphy message. You take it any way you want to. But you need to get into this bond. You need to get into this family. Um, I can almost guarantee you will never meet a family such as this. But you have to show up, young lady. And so, Lila, listen to me very carefully. Listen to this um, recording or this video until it's tired. And you can listen to what some of the other members are saying. But most importantly, we need you. So you're a missing family member. And I know this. You can bring something to the table, and the table can take what you bring and, and, and feed themselves with it as well. But if you don't show up, we, we all lose. And most important, all the people who could have used your services through us would have lost as well because you weren't there. And so I pray everything is okay with you. But could you do me one for no matter what, how you feeling about this or about that? But can you please just give me a call? Can you do that for me? I would truly pray, but listen to this thing through the entirety. Then once you do that, get back to me as soon as you can. You take care, young lady. May God continue to bless you. Take care. And I'm going to bring my to a close. Once people get the paper, once people physically get the paper and they start to open this paper up, then they may not like everything in the paper, but they're going to find some things that they like that's directly to them. You know, so it's almost like reading a, a good book. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, when something touches you, then you're inspired by what touches you. That's why we have so many different ranges of different perspectives in terms of editors, because people is coming from all types of different directions in terms of that, you know, you may not be into this, you may not be into that, but you're into what Fran writing about. You're into what Dempsey writing about. You know, so I mean, I, I think the biggest thing is that we just want to make sure that everybody out here have an opportunity to get the paper. Okay. Fran, you said a mouthful about something when you said um, sometimes you have to decline doing certain things because recently my pastor asked me to do something for him. He wanted to be the church executive secretary and I told him, I said, oh, no way. No way. I mean, he was kind of, he was kind of fluid about that because I said no. You know, <laughs> I didn't, I know. <laughs> That's a monumental task. Yeah, you could be spreading yourself too thin. Are you sure? I said, oh, I'm certain. <laughs> I cannot do this. You know, you know, thank you. Thank you. I'm, you make, you just made me feel so good when you said that. Thank you so much. But anyway, because let me tell you something. Writing these articles, these articles are really therapeutic for me. And even reading the articles are therapeutic to me. But I'm so glad you said something about, um, Kathleen, you said something about getting some feedback. Because I just got a card in the mail earlier this week, like, I mean, last week. And I just happened to have it, I put it up on my shelf 
but it's, it's from a former student of mine who happened to be a former student of mine mm -hmm. at Sojourner. And um, she got she got a paper from somebody. I don't know where she even got it from. But anyhow, she said, um, she said, um, dear Dr. Y.T., your article on empower yourself with self-love in the January issue of the Unity paper provided me with a necessary lesson about myself that I needed to grow and that I don't have to compromise knowing that I am the author of my story and it's up to me to write it and not give it away to somebody else. Thank you so much for keeping it real. And she said, love you always forever, your former student, Renee Lewis. Mm -hmm. That touched my spirit, you know? I bet it did. Yeah, it did. And then I got the best compliment of all from my daughter, one of my daughters. She called me, she said, Ma, I said, what? I read your article. I said, okay. She said, girl, you hit, <laughs> you, you hit home. You got me straight. She said, girl, <laughs> you're loving me again. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we do, and 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 it's nothing like getting something like that, especially someone you know. That is, that is super, Doctor Watis. It was really, really uplifting, you know. And like I said, my daughter top topped it off, and she said, "Girl, <laughs> <laughs> that, that says a whole lot." That says a whole lot. It lightens my heart and it may do the same for you. I was looking for the actual readout, uh, the actual. Um, uh, 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 Thing that he sent the other day, but what he basically said was is that this paper is needed. It is something that we need in our community and in his community. This paper is like a menu. Most people can pick and choose anything that they want to see. It's like going to a restaurant. There's so many venues, there's so many avenues, so many appetizers, and people, the, most of the people that I know, they love the paper just because of that, of the, of the variety. Now, I did have Bill, I mean, David say, okay, we don't have an IT section, but I've never heard anybody even mention it, but I mean, it would probably be good to have somebody in there that knows something about IT. But most people really like it because it's its own style. But it's, as I reiterate, it's like it's a menu. And you can pick and choose. It's like you said, Bill said, or David said it. Once you have this paper in your hand and 99% of ownership is holding something in your hand, they're going to find something in that paper that's going to, they're going to gravitate towards. Work for other people helping them with their dreams, helping them achieve their goals, helping them to, to rise above um, all these different things that you know, they felt were obstacles in their way, only to find myself left behind to do the same thing over and over again for myself because everybody that I sort of reached out to, with the exception of the family that is associated with this enterprise, you know, this, the National Black Unity News, this is the place that I go to get lifted up because you all always tell me, you know, what a good job I do and how well my articles are doing, and, you know, all that. And I'm so grateful to hear those things from you, even though for many of you, I don't do anything for you, but show up. I mean, I mean, that's, that's just, that's the easy part showing up to me that's the easy part showing up it's when you got to do some heavy lifting that you know things get a little sketchy but you guys are lifting with me you're not making me lift anything up by myself we're all lifting stuff up and nobody in here is uh working any less than i am everybody in this enterprise everybody associated with this paper every single one of you is doing some extraordinary thing that has given me inspiration, that has motivated me and encouraged me to keep going and, you know, not to quit and not to look away, but to stay focused and steadfast. I get that from watching you, all of you. I get that from you. So, you know, the articles that I write, I try, I just try to bring a quality product. 
because everybody else is bringing a quality product and what I look like not bringing one. Everybody else is. And if you got time to do it, I need to find the time to do it. So thank you for being the inspiration that you are to me. Thank you for being the encouragement that you are to me. Thank you for being the help to me that you are. You just have no idea how much positive energy you have poured into me that helps me to continue to be the person that I am. And that's not just by myself. You don't know how much you helped me to stay in that place. And I'm grateful to all of you for that contribution that you make to me because these times, they're not easy times. They are not easy times. And, you know, I've, I've, I put myself in a place where I am, I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. I am, I am away from other people, but I'm not isolated. Mm. I am focused on some things that I need to do for myself, but I do not feel like I have been exiled or ostracized. I feel like I have been embraced and supported in whatever it is that I think I need to do for me. And all of you have reached out in a way that has let me know that if there's anything that I need, if it's just a kind word, I can call and say, look, I need to hear something today. And somebody will have a word or two that's going to keep me from finding a bridge to jump off. Not that it's that serious, but no, you man. know what I mean. Yeah. I don't, you know, yeah. it's not, it's not an easy thing. <clears throat> find yourself in this space and in this place. But what, what I can say is that being associated with all of you and having developed the friendships with all of you that I have has really made it an easier task for me. So I'm grateful and I'm thankful and I appreciate all of you. Ms. Frank, you get a little deeper into where we are going with what, who we, who's reading, where it's being read. We have... Uh, papers out of New Jersey. We have editors out of New Jersey. We have people out down in Miami, now North Carolina, Virginia, and Texas and New Orleans. And we just want to talk about that so that we're not, it says national. Last I looked, it said National Black Unity News. You know, um, I just want to share with you about just a few, a handful of our editors and staff, how they feel about the paper, how they feel about each other, and quite frankly, how they feel about you, if you would only participate. See, you have to really show up and be a part of this team. See, what will happen, I already know what's going to happen. It's going to create more family members for you. It's going to take you to places that... um. You never thought you can get there by yourself, but because you're in the family and by you, you're surrounded by family with like-minded people who can assist you, who can help you to get to where you want to go. And see, that's why it's so important that you show up first and foremost. But see, see, you can bring something to the family, and I know this personally about you. You can bring something to the table that all of us can feast upon. So I encourage you to get involved with the team because see, sometimes you never know just by uh, being a part of us, you ever done the hard work just by joining us. But the second thing is get involved. We're not asking for all your time. We're just asking for a few hours a week so that you can get to know one another, share information with one another so that they can assist you with some services that you may not even know about. And also at the same time, you can assist them See, it's, it's reciprocal when, when each one of us help each one. But the most important thing I just tried to get across is for you to show up. We need you. And see, when we had this kind of synergy, then we can go out into the communities all across uh, Baltimore, the United States, and beyond. Uh, we can assist people with this publication, our team synergy, and, uh, and your personal energy. And uh, it's a powerful, powerful force that you just seen. These are just persons that wasn't rehearsed. It was just people just speaking from their hearts. And that's just a handful. And can you imagine the impact when all of us come together? We'd be like a nuclear bomb about to explode and, and spreading good news, good news that can assist our people to a better way of life. 
So I encourage you greatly, please show up, because we need you, I need you, they need you, and we need you. And so again, I thank you for this time, and please call me back, 443-455-2373. Again, David Murphy, publisher of the National Black Unity News, is um, just sharing some personal information so that we as a team can grow together. Thank you.